Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Your boy Starco Gaming here, back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, don't forget to hit the sub and like button if you enjoy the content, show your support to the channel, and make sure to enable the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified when we go live or when we post a new video. So, guys, uh, last night we finally got our first sneak peek for August update future foundation sneak peek guys we're going to talk about that in a moment uh well basically this video guys is going to be in two parts first we're going to talk about uh, the sneak peek we got and we're going to actually talk about what it should impact with what's coming in game and then we're going to go with uh in the second part of the video with our daily roster review so let's get started with that sneak peek right away guys that was the second part we're going to talk about wrong screen at the start okay so august update sneak peek number one greeting agents this is a cm fragment of the marvel future fight team a group of heroes is holding a press conference today obviously i can't miss this special occasion as i step into the conference room and notice one of the teams that we know very well as a new look what interesting news can I probably get from this press conference? New look for the family. Let's take a quick look at that. Here we go. Here we go. Here we have the Fantastic Four. I think it's pretty obvious. Like, uh, let's try to put it back here. There we go. Uh, come on. <laughs> I'm not fate. Uh, so I think it's pretty obvious here that we have a. Uh, Mr. Fantastic there, then we have Invisible Woman here, the Thing here, and Human Torch here. I think it's a pretty, pretty, pretty obvious. Now, uh, what does it will do for this update? Well, the update is going to be on the Future Foundation, guys. It's obviously, uh, this is the team, the look of Future Foundation, and here you can see the 04 for the Fantastic Four. And so the update is going to be about Future uh, Foundation, but Let's, get no, let's not get mistaken here, guys. Future Foundation is not what most people think it's going to be. Let me make that clear. Because Future Foundation uh, is similar to when we got the Fantastic Four. We're not going to get the whole version of it. We are going to get the new version. You know, they kill everything at Fantastic Four and revive it in 2019. And that's going to be the second part of the revival of the Fantastic Four pretty much. So, uh, like when we got the Fantastic Four update, guys, it was not about uh, the old version of the Fantastic Four characters. It was about the new version of them the the comics that was released i think in january 2019 or something like that that was the new version so the same thing is to be expected with the future foundation because this is gonna be uh, a, it's a, a brand new series straight from the page of the fantastic four so basically it comes directly from the new Fantastic Four series so it's not gonna be based on the old version like a spider-man no it's not gonna get uniform stop hallucinating people that is not gonna happen uh, this is gonna be based on the new version of the future foundation here we can re read it real fast here well first it's getting published well it's future foundation 2019 number one published on august 7 2019 which is actually why we're getting this update in august uh, a brand new series straight from the pages of fantastic four when the richards of family is called back to earth to be the fantastic four again left behind the future foundation a think tank of the most brilliant young minds in the universe with one mission to find the pieces of of and rebuild their friend molecule man but that's proved harder than imagine as this crew of young genesis athletes mutants Molded and Android has run into every problem in the multiverse. Now, with the leadership of Alex and Julie Power, and a little extra firepower from guest professor Yondu Yudanta, the team will undergo their most dangerous mission yet a prison break. Jeremy 
Whitley Unstoppable was and Will Robson Great Lakes Avengers Pond take the future foundation on a heart pounding journey across time and space. So pretty much that's the base story on the on this update. Now people are like Doom's getting a tier tree. Where is Doom on that comic guys? Please, please enlighten me. Enlighten me because I don't see no freaking Doom. I see a Nilus which is going to be the villain of this uh, this update in my opinion and I see a bunch of heroes so we can see about what six people here uh, in addition to the uniform you can see the Fantastic Four in the background the cloud which are gonna get uniform then we can see six characters here so my my guess will be we could be getting an epic quest uh, that will be a possible one, like uh, we could get a uh, Molecule Man as the Epic Quest characters, you know, we have a, a big mission to actually go save and, you know, rebuild Molecule Man, that could actually be a very possible, and with the uh, the second tier to not even the Epic Quest being endless. Uh, I'm sure I don't see his name properly, but that is it. Then, we could have the other characters we see on this, on this screenshot, that I don't really know all their name. I I know that here the Rainbow Girl is Julie Power, then I think the guy right above her on the left side is Alex Power, but that's pretty much the only one I know here, uh, so I'm thinking that it could be the rest of the epic mission, epic quest in my opinion. Or we could also be getting a special mission that will be possible to put all those characters in the special mission too. So guys, like I said, do not expect the old version of future foundation because that's not gonna happen like i said earlier when we got the fantastic four update it was based on fantastic four uh the new version and the future foundation is gonna be based on the same thing so pretty much that covers my thought on the sneak peek number one guys and on what to maybe expect from this well if we base our thought on the first sneak peek that was released in uh, well last night for the future foundation update now uh, next week probably we're gonna get a few more sneak peek for the update getting released on uh, if we look at the calendar here real fast uh, the update shall be released on the night from the 6th to the 7th to to kind of sync with the publication of the new comic so that's my expectation on when to get the update and we shall get you know preparation event being announced on the 30 uh, most likely and something like that so that's my thought that's my prediction on this update guys now now that that's done so we're gonna move to the second part of the video but first First, I just want to say, guys, uh, please share me your feedback on what you think, if I'm right, if I'm wrong, if I'm a dumb shit, if I'm awesome, if my mustache is the real shit. I don't know, man. Just find something to write in the comment section and talk to me, guys, so we can have a conversation. Next part of this video is going to be the daily roaster review. Now, if you want to get your roaster review, guys, it's a pretty pretty simple there's two meta there's a free method and the paid method paid method is pretty simple you go in the description below the video you become a paid member there's a link i think it's the first link in the description you can become a paid member and have access to one-on-one -on -one, uh roster review on the discord server now if you do not want to pay because you know most people don't want to give me their money i understand that uh <laughs> Uh, if you don't want to pay, it's pretty simple. You go in the description below the video again. Uh, you you drop down till you have the link for the Discord server. You pop on the Discord server. You go in the channel MFF Roaster Review here. Only this channel will be looked at during the roaster review, daily roaster review. So don't post in chat English or anything anywhere else because you're not going to get your roaster review. So uh, you post in here, IGN with question, then every day we try to do a few of them like you can see here uh, the one we're starting today are from su last sunday and we're trying to catch up as fast as possible we get a lot of requests so it's very very difficult to catch up so uh let's get started right away with syria 2345 you need need helps with cards trying to maximize the attack speed and cooldown tanks so only cards requests here that's going to be a fast one usually so let's go here, Syria 2345. Let's go take a quick look at the cards here. Okay, so attack speed, ignore defense, and cooldown needs help. 
Uh, just a first look, I look at that, I got two cards I want to keep. The Punisher 19 cards, you want to get that to Mythical. Uh, you want to have all attack and cooldown as bonus action. And this one, you want to get it to Mythical and have at least Ingor Defense and Energy Attack on it or Physical Attack. Either one, either of those attacks are good, but you want to have Ingor Defense on it as bonus option too. So those two cards needs to get to Mythical. This card, Marvel Future Fight number 2, is trash. This card is trash. Now let's take a quick look at this one. Uh, you got all attack, indoor defense, physical attack, max HP. We're going to keep this one. I like it. So we're going to keep this one. We're going to get this one to medical. This one to medical. This one, we're going to replace it with the Secrets War 2099 limb variant. And then this one, we're going to replace it with a Marvel Zombie card. You want to replace that with a Marvel Zombie card. Um, this version, let me uh, show it to you real fast because there's two versions. I uh, just want to make sure you know which one we're looking for. Like if we look at the Secrets War 2099 limb variant, that's the one we're looking for this one here to have the attack speed and in more defense if we look at the marvel zombie it is this one here so you're gonna get dodge co uh, cooldown you're gonna roll all attack here and then you're gonna try to roll uh where is it um energy attack here because i think you're gonna have enough um enough uh i want to call in your defense and attack speed uh, after you do the rest of the other cards so my my recommendation here will go all attack and energy attack as a bonus option and that's pretty much covers your cards you need to get at least between 15 and 18 percent tech speed always on cards uh 25 percent plus in your defense and 26 percent plus skill cooldown that is what is very important my friend so that covers our first roster review here let's move to the next one we have i 420 Okay, I just want to know what can I do to improve. I also have a CTP of Rage on my inventory and I don't know who to give it to. So let's take a quick look at that, my friend. Let's take a quick look at that. So first, a CTP of Rage. She'll go on this girl, but you already have one on this girl, so that's good. Uh, what are your next option? Um, well, first, this guy you want to get uh, CTP of Energy, by the way, uh, and you want to get his end game uniform. Honestly, your other CTP of Rage, uh, since you don't have Energy on her, a pretty shitty Obelisk, I will recommend to put it on her for now, but I will ultimately save it to actually be put on Doctor Strange until you get him to tier 3, and he shall actually be your next tier 3 in your list, your Doctor Strange. Uh, if we look at the rest of your roster, we're going to do the cards at the end here. This time, be to answer that uh, since we started the CTP question. Uh, uniform for Shuri is highly recommended if you can afford the uniform. Um, tier 2, Tier 2, both good for Shallow Land. Good for Shallow Land. Um, what else? What else here? Uh, this guy to tier 2 if you can afford the BO sub most recommended that's for sure uh, Molten Man best characters for combat super villain islands battle stream so I only recommend him to tier 2 and I think that's enough characters for now for the tier 2 suggestion now we're gonna take a quick look at the cards we got uh, cooldown is fine in your defense a little bit low attack speed is a little bit low so let's see what we could change here um, this one we get attack speed, energy attack, physical attack. Uh, we got triple attack on it with attack speed. We're gonna keep it that way. Uh, this one is actually the cards we're gonna change. We're gonna trade this card for a Punisher 19 card. So you're gonna make sure you roll cooldown on the Punisher 19 cards and all attack. So pretty much just by having all attack as bonus option the Punisher cards, you're gonna make sure you have your more attack than you currently have on this card. Plus, the cooldown can drop a little bit, so losing 3% cooldown is going to be just fine for you. And you're going to gain that uh, in your defense and attack speed. That's pretty much just going to fix all your stats. If we look at the bonus option, the other cards, that is very good. Uh, I will reroll this card to actually get either energy attack or physical attack with that in your defense. And this card here is very good. So that is pretty much all you need to change. This card, change this card. 
reroll these cards and you're gonna be in business and do uh, those recommendations I said on your roster. So that covers my boy Hype420 here. Next, next, next. We have a ho, ho, ho. 0201. Let's take a quick look at my boy, the finisher here. Um, he's strength and pure for shallow. And so, first, we're gonna check out his cards real fast. Uh, still need a lot of work to do on your cards, but you are getting there. You are going there. Uh, here, you got double attack with attack speed. That's okay for now. Uh, this one, I did like this one. This one. You want to reroll this one to get at least either energy attack or physical attack as bonus option with in your defense. This cards. Yeah, you want to reroll this cards. The level one and the uh, stats we got on it is not worth it. You want to roll it at least level three with at least uh, attack speed on it. And I do think you can get energy attack on it too. Let's take a quick look in uh, the cards here. Um, cards. Let's find that card. I never know where it is. Uh, I think that was this one, right? Yes. Okay, so here you get attack speed. That's good. Here you could get max HP, not matter. So basically, what's important is option number six, you want energy attack. Option number four, you want attack speed. That is what is important on that card. And if we look at your last card, last card, you got all attack. That's good enough for now. So pretty much. Reroll this card, reroll this card, and we're gonna keep the rest the way it is until we can get something better for your card. Uh, if we look at your roster, next tier three character should be Luna Snow, then Doctor Strange without uh, a doubt. If we look at uh, tier two characters for Shadowland, Molten Man, Goliath, amaz both amazing for Shadowland. Um, you get the info from Medusa. I recommend getting her to tier 2 for Shallow Land. If we go down there, this guy, amazing for Shallow Land. This guy, very solid for Shallow Land, up to about 65. Um, if you can get this girl to 6 star 6 mastery, uh, actually, one of the best characters at tier 1 to do uh, stage 30 in Shallow Land. Very good for Shallow Land, very good for Shallow Land very good for Shadowland so uh, I think I gave you a bunch of options here for Shadowland and idea for your next tier 3 so we're gonna stick with there uh, let me check I think you asked for wall boss ultimate too yes wall boss ultimate pretty much uh, your main focus are going to be uh, your team here uh, your team with your top tier 3 in my opinion like that is solid that is solid that is solid then you're gonna have that soon at tier 3 very soon a very solid for a wall boss ultimate so just there that gives you tr four solid wall boss ultimates but all you need with them is to give them a good leadership and a good support pretty much and then if we look at what you have else here uh ronin is amazing for wall boss ultimate that's for sure um Cable, very strong for Wall Boss Ultimate. She is amazing for Wall Boss Ultimate too. This guy with his new uniform is actually pretty solid for Wall Boss Ultimate too. So you can see all those options. Now what matters is what you put around those. Uh, you need to, you know, support and lean. Like she all clean with cool sun support with one in the team. Um, then uh, what? What are the lead we got here? I'm not really. Uh, up to date with your account, but like you could use this guy lead with Ghost Panther on other two characters. Then you got you got so many options as support characters. That's what you want to always do. It's always one good lead, one good character, one good support. You try to do that with every team you go in, and you're gonna be just fine for Wall Boss Ultimate. And that covers my boy. Uh, ho 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 o two o one here we got two message to delete then we're gonna move to the next one uh, team spirit 64 I just want to know how bad is it how bad is it let's take a quick look at that buddy let's take a quick look first you're level 52 so uh, it's not that bad yet uh, cards, wow, cards needs a lot of work. Trash, trash, trash. So those three cards are getting removed right away. 
So first you're gonna get this card to mythical, roll, uh, ignore defense or attack speed with either energy attack or physical attack. Then you're gonna replace this card with the Pinisher 19 cards roll all attack and cooldown on it. Then you're gonna replace this card with the Secret War 2099 limb variant. Uh, then you're gonna replace this card with you have a few options uh, my number one option especially as a new player will be either uh, the Gwenpool number one cards or the Nebula cards so go with either of those cards and try to get decent bonus option on them you're gonna be fine but those four first cards are actually gonna take care of all your basic stats attack speed ignore defense and cooldown is gonna be taken care of with the false the first four cards so then the next cards it's really about optimizing your account a little bit more and this card marvel zombie you want to make sure you get all attack on it with attack speed and i'll fix your cards here uh, really good now if we look at your characters here you are doing okay for a uh, new players but i highly recommend you to focus on getting characters to tier 2 over getting characters to tier 3 right now because your roster needs to be stronger all along uh, in tier 2 characters to progress faster in the game like having one strong team is nice but one strong team only gets you so far in the game you need many 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 strong teams so stop leveling characters past level 60 work on your tier 2 native work on getting uh, all those good characters up like you got this infinity war uniform get this guy to tier 2 tier 2 tier 2 um tier 2 you got no uniform for her let's forget her for now uh this guy tier 2 tier 2 you know all those characters are more important to get to tier 2 to progress in the game than than getting characters past level 60. uh you got this guy tier 2 one of the best uh support in the game you got this guy getting him to at least six star six mastery is very important i'm just looking for missing any uh other metas here to be honest to see uh, what we're gonna do oh she oh six star six mastery as soon as possible this guy to tier two so you can see you get a few projects to get uh, taken care of and like I said it's more important at this point of your account to actually get more tier two characters than actually get characters ready for tier three uh, really really more important that's gonna help you progress farther in Shadowland which will get you better uh, first time clear rewards which will help you in the long run to improve your account and it will give you more teams to actually clear out wall boss ultimate 2 which is gonna be very very useful so those are my recommendations for your account team spirit 64 but overall you're not doing that bad except the cards Okay, next one, no, we have my boy Laxman, Lucky MF. Uh, you just want some help with cards and also help with characters improvement. Also, who to work on? Sharon is going to be tier 3, so no eye. No eyes. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so let's go take a quick look at that, my boy. My boy, here we go. Okay, so first, you got Sharon to tier 3, so your next tier 3 uh, needs to be Captain Marvel and Captain America. Uh, those are the only two next tier 3 you should even think about, that is for sure. Uh, if we look at tier 2 characters missing here, um, Bishop is a good one. You gotta work on Luna if you get Bio Sub, Korat, White Fox, Ghost Panther, uh, all good tier 2. And I think that's enough for now for the tier 2 uh, to get started it. Yeah, that's going to be the characters going to start working on. Then if we look at the cards, the cards need a lot, 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 and lots of work. Uh, attack speed is trash, cooldown is trash. Your defense is okay, but we got to fix that attack speed and um, the cooldown. So first thing, you're going to replace this card with the Marvel Zombie cards. Make sure you roll all attack and attack speed as bonus option. This card is good. You got good roll. That's awesome. Now, uh, the next cards we're going to replace. Let's see which one of the worst bonus option. This one. So we're going to replace this card with the Punisher 19 cards. Roll all attack and cooldown on it. Uh, you're going to... This one, we got all attack, ignore defense, max HP. Uh, I like this one better, actually, from the roll we got now. 
Now, we're going to keep this one. And this one's going to be replaced with the Secrets War 2099 limb variant. Uh, and that will fix all your stats here. Very important to get those cards fixed. So pretty much, you're going to be keeping the Groot... Uh, no. You're going to be keeping this card here. You're going to be replacing the Groot cards and the Star Lord with both Punisher 19 cards and Secrets War 2099 limb variant. You're going to be replacing the Marvel Future Fight cards with a Marvel Zombie card. So those are the changes you're going to do with your cards and with uh, and how you're gonna improve your roster as soon as possible and that cover my boy lucky mf lax man and guys that's pretty much all the roster review we had for today we tried to not keep those videos too long uh so guys uh again if you want to get your roster review it's pretty simple you go in the description below the video click on the discord link join the discord server go in the mff roster review channel post your ign with your question every day we try to review a few accounts every single day so uh, guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the sub and like button if you enjoy the content to show your support to the channel make sure to enable the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified when uh, we post a new video or we go live with a live stream and guys I will see you tomorrow in the next daily MFF daily MFF video. I almost screwed that one up, guys. See ya, guys.